There's a lot of stuff about FEMA, like, okay, are they too fast, slow to respond? Obviously, the overall response is, like, languorous, Lackluster. Bad. But what you really need to highlight is that FEMA has been pivoted by the Biden-Harris administration into this, like, arm of the illegal immigration racket. So this organization that we created to respond to actual emergencies has now become, like, a welfare agency for the engineered emergency of flying unlimited illegal immigrants into America. Oh, we have a migrant crisis. We need to help these people with this crisis. And they funnel billions of dollars to them. And that's why Mayorkas is going around saying, you know, oh, we've run out of money because we've had to spend hundreds of millions, billions of dollars on illegals. And like they can get free phones. They can get free hotels. They can get free housing. They can get free this, that, 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 that. And they're just being distributed throughout the country People who are not legally allowed to be here, or if they are legally allowed, it's because of this bogus thing. Where, this app. Yeah, and this I, app. I, I want to reiterate the app that Mayorkas designed this. This is the CBP1 app. Everybody, can we download it, by the way? Can anybody download it? I bet you can. Let's go. Yeah, you should like look for I, it. I should I do this live on air? Try let's to download it. Let's the, see if you can. Like, it'll, it'll be bad if we can't find it, but I think we, you can. They, no, CBP1 I mean, so let me see if I can download it. CBP. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Here's. Literally, ah, you could download it. No way. That's amazing. All right, I just downloaded the CBP1 app. Um, <laughs> I will not fraudulently fill it out, but I'm curious. So literally, I just downloaded the CBP1 app here on the App Store. Uh, this app right here is done by U.S. Customs Border Patrol. Uh, oh, you're going to love this, Blake. It has uh, a 1,000 five-star reviews. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, so the federal government's going to track me now, Ryan. Newsflash, the federal government's already tracking me. Um, and so uh, I can log in or sign up. Wow. Right here goes right through here. That you Does it have easy pivot oh, to it's Spanish super language? Super easy. Yeah, How many all, languages is it in? Do they have like um, Portuguese, Chinese? Yeah, there's all these different languages Haitian here. Creole. So you have to log in. You log in using your login.gov to allow you to sign into your account safely and securely. Oh, I can create an account. Oh yeah, look at all the languages here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um it's Spanish, French, Chinese, too. Oh my god! Isn't that crazy? That's insane. So once you have read and accepted the login.gov rules of service, you check it and you log in. So what this app is that I literally just downloaded, the CBP1 app, this right here. I just did this live on air. This, if I was in Haiti, gets you access into the country. Yeah. Or, and like, if you can't figure it out, you know, there's literally like government employees or aid workers or nonprofit people who can like help you with this. It's NGOs. such a sham. NGOs. There are enti there's an entire apparatus of NGOs who get taxpayer money themselves, of and course. And they get you lawyers. And, and they'll get you the lawyers. They get you through this whole process and their entire purpose is how do you present your bogus story? Like, they're all like seeking asylum. Well, okay. They have, you know, seven or eight canned asylum justifications that they'll go, oh, he has reasonable grounds to claim asylum. We we have to let him in now. And, you know, he has to get his day in court. That day in court could be a year from now, two years from now, ten years from now. There have been ten-year waits for that hearing. And if you don't show up, it's the policy of the Biden administration not to try to find you or deport you anyway. Yep. It's all a sham, and they're all getting government money. It's it's preposterous what they've allowed. Like, it literally is like treason. It, it is behavior. treason. This app that I just downloaded is Expedia.com for foreigners to come into our country seamlessly and easily. Maybe the hurricane victim should download this app. Maybe they could get some help. Yeah, that you way. know, maybe if you called like the people who are like fleeing their homes ecological migrants, then maybe like Biden and Harris would give a crap. But they don't because they are the citizens of this country and citizens come last and foreigners come first. Let's go through the story here. FEMA whistleblowers have revealed a treasonous misuse of taxpayer funds. Pre-disaster aid for Hurricane Helene was withheld, leaving first responders and service members in hotels waiting for orders that never came. Matt Gates is now blasting Alejandro Mayorkas for saying FEMA has wasted taxpayer money, misused funds, and left federal, state, and local responders without the orders they needed to act. Gates also confirms that hundreds, if not thousands, of service members were deployed to North Carolina by the Department of Defense and have been sitting idle waiting for FEMA. To make matters worse, Gates points out that FEMA funds were used by NGOs to buy airline tickets for migrants, even though money was really meant for disaster relief. <clears throat> the aftermath of Hurricane Helene is a major disaster, and your waste and lack of preparation are leaving Americans in distress without food, water, or medicine, and no help in sight. Gates is demanding answers by October 11th 
uh, saying that Mayorkas to expend. Mayorkas is really a traitor to the country. Isn't it, he? It's really bad. And I think that needs to be highlighted a lot more. Joining us now is Hung Kao, who is running for the U.S. Senate in Virginia and is within the margin of error against Tim Kaine. Hung, welcome to the program. Charlie, thank you so much. It's such an honor to be on your show. Play cut 219. Mr. Kao, you've supported removing undocumented immigrants who have committed violent crime. Do you support mass deportation of all undocumented immigrants? You have 60 seconds. Immigration is very near and dear to my heart. When Vietnam fell, we had nowhere to go, and America had brought us in. And my parents waited in line for seven years. We all did, for seven years to get our citizenship. The last thing that my dad had hang over his bed when he passed away two years ago was his naturalization certificate. I love this country so much that I wrote a blank check up to including my life to defend it for 25 years in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Somalia, and other parts of the world. So here's my, here's my thing to anybody who wants to come here. Don't ask for the American dream if you're not willing to debate American laws and embrace the American culture. I love that. Th that, is, that is so good. We are a very generous country, but if you're breaking in the country and you're not coming on our terms, then we have the right to repel those people from coming into America. No, you're absolutely right. And here's the thing, you, you have to assimilate. If you want to be an American, you've got to be an American. And right now we're allowing 13,000 convicted murderers and 16,000 convicted rapists to come into this country under the Biden watch. And if you are better off today, it turns out you're probably an illegal alien. I'm using this line, play cut 197. The biggest issues for Virginia voters we polled includes economy, followed by housing affordability, then threats to democracy and immigration. The basic question is this. Are you better off today than you were four years ago? If you say yes, you're probably an illegal alien. OK, but honestly, uh, at the end of the day, the people that got us into this mess, Tim Kaine has been in office for 30 years. I mean, we waited in line and everybody should, too. One of the things you've been warning about is the march of Marxism in this country, something your family understands. What when you see the persecution of President Trump and political dissidents, the lawfare, what is your warning to the American people of the type of country that we are becoming? I mean, you see it in churches, right? They're attacking our, our uh, churches and, and where we worship. Uh, I'm a Christian, and so, you know, I go to Cornerstone Christian, I believe. Uh, yeah, great church. Gary Hamrick. Yep, Gary is a very good friend of ours. Um, and, uh, you know, but the attack on the church and also the attack on our, our civil rights, as well as, you know, Kamala Harris wants to uh, – Price control, she also wants to tax you on unrealized gains. That means if your house goes up in Zillow, you owe this amount, amount of tax, even though you don't have it in your pocket. And then you've got uh, Tim Walsh, who wants to uh, have the snitch line during COVID, where, you know, you can snitch on your, your neighbors. And then Michigan, they have a snitch line for the, the kids uh, to tell on their parents if they're not um, handling their guns safely. And again, this is what communists do. They turn the kids against you. And that's exactly what happened in uh, Mao's um, China, where, you know, the Cultural Revolution, where kids were turning their parents into the government. That's right. And the, it, the, the little, Mao's little red guard uh, turning in kids against their parents. Hung, please tell people how the audience can support you and your path to victory in Virginia these next 32 days. Please go to hungforva.com. Uh, so that's H-U-N-G-F-O-R-V-A.com. Look, you may not be able to vote for me if you're not in Virginia, but I can vote for you because my vote in the U.S. Senate will secure your liberties. I fought for you for you know 25 years. I've bled for you guys. I'm not done fighting for Virginia or for the United States of America. What What is the... T t Tim Kaine is very nervous. Democrats are maybe going to spend more money in the state. Just very quickly, what parts of the state are you focusing and emphasizing and uh, your closing message for voters? Again, I've been, uh, I ran for Congress in 2022 in Northern Virginia, which includes Loudoun County, where they were attacking the uh, schools, uh, were attacking the parents. Um, and I moved that needle 13%. So I've been working hard on Northern Virginia, but then also in uh, the Southern part in Richmond, we're pretty much tied with him in Richmond. 
in Hampton Roads. I spent three tours of duty there uh, in Norfolk and Virginia Beach. So that the Hampton Roads area, that's where three of my kids were born. So we know that area very well. And then Southwest, my in-laws lived in uh, Roanoke for, you know, 25 years. And so we know that area very well, too. So I'm to tell you the truth, I'm concentrating all of Virginia because I want to represent all of Virginians. Hung, thank you so much. It's hungforva.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Charlie.